Hi, welcome to Octagon Garage. My name is Robert, and today I've been taking apart another differential to get the parts for the MGC. As in the last video, I showed the damage that was done to the inside with the star gears and the carrier. So I have this differential that's um, it's got bad axles in it. The, I got this in a whole bunch of parts, but as you can see, let me switch this. That's fused in there. So, found out by accident, you know, a little tech tip. Hey, all you gotta do is just dismantle. It already had the brake parts removed, but take the nuts off the back side of the flange on the axle, and then just take a hammer and tap it, and it pops right out. So you don't have to take the hub off and all that. So if you have a problem with removing the hub, if you need to put new uh, uh, thrust washers on your star gears and things like that, that's a way to, to uh, remedy that problem. Then you can just pop it back together and you're down the road. So today I got the carrier out. Yeah, mind, don't mind the mess. One of these years I'll get around to cleaning it. Anyway, so here's the carrier that came out. It's in really good shape. Star gears are in really good shape. This one here, this is the star gear that goes on the axle. Um, that'd be the left side. I'm keeping everything in order. It has a little scoring, but as you drag your fingernail across it, I can't catch my nail on it, so it's... I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I'm 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 okay with that. So, um, the star gears and the shaft uh, are in really nice shape. Everything's good there. Um, hardly anywhere to it at all. Like I said, you can't catch your nail on it at all. It's all nice and tight. When you try to wiggle the star gears, there's hardly any play. Uh, this axle star gear on the right side it still had the original fiber shim on it the other one did not so but we'll be replacing all that we got replacements for that. not a big deal so the other thing is yeah, excuse me i'm wiping the sweat off my brow it's pretty warm today and the humidity's up and anyway uh i got the carrier out and so we'll be swapping the ring gears this is the ring gear that's out of the out of the MGC. I don't know the vintage of this. All I know is that it's MGB uh, tube type axle. Banjo axle is different. Uh, other thing I thought was kind of interesting: Timken bearings. Okay, you know, great, you know, good bearings, right? Um, this one says "Made in England." Timken. Yeah, there we are. Made in England. We got Timken bearings over here too. But it says, you know, it doesn't, that's not good. <clears throat> bearings on this are real good. Hopefully I didn't damage the race, but somewhere here it says Timken. Made in the USA. So, interesting. Same company, uh, different country of origin. You know, went across the pond to get assembled and then brought back. Um, but, yeah, everything looks good here. The bearings feel good. And the inside surfaces where the star gears uh, made up are all nice and smooth. Um, the surfaces on for the uh, bronze where the bronze washers were in the inside here are all nice and smooth. So I got a tub. I'll be putting this in some gasoline, getting it cleaned up once I get the gear off and all that kind of thing, and we'll be putting it back in the car. Only other thing I've got to do is remove the drive shaft and put new joints in it. Probably, you know, usually they're bad. And uh, I'm going to pull the. Um, pinion shaft yoke off and put a new seal because it was leaking. You can see on the bottom of the differential where it's been leaking out through the front pinion shaft seal, which I believe that's what led 
partially led to all this damage was that somebody ran it low on oil. So anyway, till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.